Building Foods HQ. Hey, hey guys, what's up? I am Paul Niyama from Muscle Building Foods HQ. Dot com. And I'm a fitness specialist, which means that I help people just like you to get in shape with advice for working out, nutrition, and motivation for you to do those things correctly and consistently. And in this video, I am talking about some issues that people run across when they're trying to lose weight. If you're doing everything correctly, that means that you're eating right, that you're working out hard, that you're getting the proper rest and recovery. If you're doing all these things right and you're still having trouble losing weight, it might be one of these issues that I'm going to talk about. I've got three main things that I've run across with my clients that um, have prevented them from getting the kind of results that they deserve with all their hard work that they put in. So if you're putting in the work if you feel like you aren't getting the results that you should be getting from all that work that you're putting in, it might not be your fault. It could be one of these three issues. And the first issue that I'm going to talk about is a thyroid problem. Now, this is actually pretty common. The thyroid is um, responsible for making that thyroid hormone in your body, and that re that is responsible for your um, metabolism. And it's obviously very important if you're trying to lose weight. You want your metabolism to be fast if you're trying to lose weight. You want to be able to burn calories fast. And uh, if your thyroid is not producing enough of this hormone, your body is not going to uh, have the proper metabolism. So um, if you suspect that your thyroid is not working properly, having hypothyroidism, hypo with a H-Y-P-O, um, if you think that that is an issue... And it's actually pretty common. Go to your doctor, get that checked out, have them do tests. And um, unfortunately, the best solution for that is a medication. But that could help you with uh, losing weight. Uh, ran across that many times with my a lot of clients. Uh, working hard, putting in the work, lifting hard, you know, eating correctly. I'm like, what is going on? They went to their doctor, thyroid checked, medication, boom, the weight dropped off. So that is the first uh and probably the most common issue that I've uh, ran across. Number two, also very common, probably not as common as the thyroid thing, but that is an insulin sensitivity problem. So insulin is a, another hormone in the body, and that is also responsible for uh, many of the metabolic processes in the body that um, will help you to lose weight or gain weight. And uh, if your body is making too much insulin, you're having too much insulin in your bloodstream, you're not going to be able to burn fat as uh, quickly as you should. Because if there's a lot of insulin in your blood, your body is not going to be burning fat. So if you're making, if your body's not sensitive to insulin, it's going to be making a lot more of this stuff. You're not going to be burning fat as as, um, as quickly as you should. Um, it's going to make it very hard. Some Scientists think that it's caused by fat. Others think it's caused by sugar. Based on what I've read and what I've seen from my clients that switched up their diet, um, I tend to agree with the scientists that think it's caused by sugar, especially fructose. So um, this is another thing that you need to go to your doctor to test. So if you suspect that your insulin is playing a role in your um, in not losing weight as quick as you should, go to your doctor and have this checked out as well. And um, pretty simple. Usually, unless it's like a hereditary thing, usually changing your diet up can help with this. Um, at least with the clients that I've dealt with, um, switching their diet up, cutting out a lot of sugars, reducing the uh, overall carb intake has helped with a lot of clients. Um, but again, some of sometimes the insulin sensitivity thing is caused with a genetic disorder or something else. So again, if you're not sure, have your doctor check that out, but that could be another reason that you're not losing weight if you're doing everything correctly. And the third thing um, is gut health. Now, there's a lot of bacteria, a lot of microorganisms that are living in your gut right now. And I did a previous video on this. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this video because I went over a lot of stuff in my last video, but there's a lot of bacteria in your gut. There's over a hundred trillion bacteria, microorganisms that are living in your gut right now. And I was on Chris Kresser's blog and he did an analogy. If you laid 
a trillion, one trillion dollar bills from end to end, you would be able to go all the way from the earth to the sun and back and still have a lot to spare. That's one trillion. You do that a hundred times, that's how much bacteria is living in your gut. So that that I thought that was uh a pretty big number. It's hard to grasp your head around just how big a trillion is. But that's that's how big a trillion is. That's how much bacteria is living in your gut. And if these things are out of whack, there's good beneficial bacteria in your gut and there's harmful bacteria. And if you have way too much harmful bacteria, that's going to screw up your metabolism. That's going to screw up your appetite, make you want to eat more than you should because all this stuff is not being absorbed properly into your body. So if you have a problem with your gut health, that could prevent the weight loss that you potentially deserve. So again, if you're not sure about this, this is something that a doctor would have to do test and check out. Um, and hopefully you can uh, do it with your diet. There's other ways to uh, improve your gut health. But uh, usually doing a lot of probiotic and prebiotic foods help. Um, as well as cutting out that sugar. Because that sugar feeds that bad bacteria. And you don't want too much of that stuff around uh, in your gut. So uh, that's it. Those are the three big things that I've run across as a trainer for many, many years. Um, most people, if they do the, the correct things, they'll lose weight. But like I said, if you if you are doing everything correctly and just the weight's not coming off, you're not getting your results, look into these things. Have a doctor check these three things out uh, because I think these are the three most common uh, reasons people have trouble losing weight. So um, after after doing everything correctly. So that is it for this video. Any questions? Reach me out. Reach me out on social media. Is that correct? I don't know. Reach out to me on social media, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to my channel. More videos coming. If you have any requests, any topics you want me to cover, let me know. Because I will see you next time. I am Paul Niyama from Muscle Building Foods HQ.com.